Hey guys, um, I have this pull-on chainsaw that I'm working on. This one's like 15 years old, came from my grandpa. Um, it's, it's a 2150, super clean. Uh, I don't know what that 2.1 C point I point means. But, so, um, uh, yeah, like I saw this and, you know, I asked him, like, if I could repair it. And he said, sure. The fuel lines needed to be fixed. Um, I got those on the way. Um, I ordered a cheap set off of Amazon for like ten ninety nine. dollars um, That also came with a primer bulb and an air filter. It needs a new air filter. That right there is the air filter, all that green stuff. Um, but yeah, so that's the primer bulb. Um, got a replacement for that coming. I did check for spark with my spark checker. I got at Harbor Freight. This like six bucks, I believe. Um, it's got spark really nice. Um, the pull rope was working good, but I just put a little bit of WD-40 on the recoil just to make it, um, you know, um, pull nice and easy and smooth. Um, I went ahead and, like, cleaned up the whole chainsaw, kind of. It was really dirty, but I got it looking almost like, like you, like, when you first buy it. I mean, it really does look good. Um, there was a bunch of crap in there. Here, I'll get a flashlight. You guys can see a little better. But yeah, so, yeah, that was all dirty in there. I got the majority of the dirt. Got it looking pretty good in there. The cylinder looks pretty good. I'm, I'll, I'll take the muffler off later in this uh, short little video to show you guys the condition of the cylinder um, and piston. Um, I went ahead and, like, so I got to replace that part because it cracked and that is like the um the part that goes on there and then you put the carburetor on top of that um i forget what that's called i think it's like the adapter for the cylinder or whatever you want to call it i took off this stupid thing that that um prevents you from tuning your carb um i now i have not been able to like run it for a long time yet so the fuel lines were bad, but I did just drizzle a little bit of fuel down the throat of the carburetor, and it started up within the fifth pool. So that tells me that it does have really good compression, or else I would not have gotten it to start up that easily. Um, I took off the carb. I checked that out. Carb's working just fine. Um, you know, it looks like the carb's been taken care of and been maintained properly. Um, cause you know, I, I took some gas and I tested it, make sure gas was flowing through, was flowing through, uh, just fine. That's actually the top cover. I took that off cause that basically covers up all this stuff. And then just a few extra bolts to hold the carbon, all that stuff on. I'm going to see if I can reuse that filter right there. Cause it looks like it's been replaced when the fuel lines were going bad. So maybe that is still good, but we're going to go ahead and take off this muffler to see the condition of the uh, piston. So I'm going to go ahead and get my drill here. This is just a fast way. Use a socket, a socket adapter. Um, you don't have to use a drill. I just, I'm just using one to make it a little bit faster. Stick it on there. And then you, so there's two bolts right there. You just undo those. I'm actually going to sit down the camera because I need to hold the saw while I do this. Just give me like 10 seconds here. Almost. All right. So now that I have loosened the muffler we're gonna now take it off and this saw is very easy to work on like everything is kind of and it's all in place you don't really have to take apart much unless you're going to like replace the piston ring or work on it but other than that i mean the pull rope you just take that off and it's very easy to fix the pull start if you happen to need to um usually you don't have to fix it if you keep it greased that's just my personal experience. I, I always keep mine greased. I'll spray a little WD-40 on it once or twice a year. I do this with my blowers too. I'm going to take this off. Right. As you can see, there's a muffler. 
got that off with the two bolts and when you're doing this make sure to like you like you know how it goes back on but i've already done this it's just for video purposes um, i got a little bit of cleaning up to do right there just want to make sure that nothing um, somehow gets into the piston now i'm gonna get my little pen light this is a performance tool pen light it actually works pretty good all right so is that the gasket right there yeah that's a gasket that might be a little bit of a problem we may need to go in and fix that i don't know if you guys can see that um it, it might it might do for now but maybe a future project that i should work on um yeah but i have to take off the cover and all to get to that but yeah i don't know if i should be concerned about that or not um I mean, it feels like it's getting really nice compression. I could lift the whole saw off the ground, and usually that's a sign that it's got usually around 120 PSI because if it was any lower than that, you'd have a hard time um, picking the saw up off the ground. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that right now. Might not have all the compression just because I have the cylinder taken off and the carb taken off, so it, it's going to lose a little bit. But as you guys can see, it's got a good bit of compression. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty clean chainsaw. It's about 15 years old. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cylinder. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm gonna um, pull the rope over some. I'm gonna try and like set up this light in a good position to where you guys can see. Um, let's see here. How can I set this light up? Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Hopefully, hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. Yeah. Can you guys see? see here oh man we almost got it uh there we go i'm gonna pull the rope it's just a little bit of marks on the top of that piston i don't know if you guys can see that it's kind of hard to see in there because of how tight of a space it is. But other than that, the whole piston looks very clean. I mean, it looks like almost a brand new piston. Like, for real. Like, that's how good, that's how nice and clean this thing is. You guys can see that. Looks very good. I'm going to go ahead and um, put the muffler back on. I'm going to um, go ahead and, like, fast uh like fast uh, mode this part so that way because you guys already saw it so see you guys in one second all right guys now that i have tightened the muffler on really nice um now i'm going to show you guys one more thing here i'm just going to test for spark just so that way you guys know how so of course you take off your spark plug boot and get that popped off all right, that exposes your spark plug, and I believe this is a Champion spark plug. It's actually pretty common. You could find it on Amazon. Yeah, this is a CJ7Y, and I've seen them. I was looking on Amazon for spark plugs because I thought that I may need to replace it, but nope. Everything's still good on that, but it is a fairly common spark plug, so it's pretty, pretty common. Um, so now, now that you've taken the boot of your checker and put it on top of that spark plug, now you get the spark plug boot on the actual machine, and you stick this thing into it. And it should kind of hook in a little bit. It should look something like this. When you buy the tester, it's going to look like that when you install it. Spark plug boot of the motor into the spark checker. 
the boot of the spark checker onto the spark plug. Make sure that your spark plug is in there. Um, and then what you can do is you can take off the pull starter and just use your drill, get a socket to turn it over. But in this case, um, that would take a little bit extra time, so I'm just going to give it a few yanks. Make sure that the kill switch is not on. This red thing is the kill switch. Um, kill switch is down, so right now I just killed it. Well, you want to pull it up. And we're just going to gonna hold down the saw. Alright guys, you uh, clearly saw that. It's got plenty of spark. Um, now the spark plug, it does look a little rough. Um, because of like how long it's been sitting. I mean, this spark plug, is, it probably hasn't been changed in like five or six years. So, I'm going to use this spark plug for now. But I may need to replace it as I use the saw. Just because of its age. Um, and you know, you, you don't want your spark plug to die on you in the middle when you're using it. So, yeah. That's pretty much it for this saw right now. I'll give you guys an update once all the parts get in. It was about 20 bucks in parts for the fuel lines, fuel filter, primer bulb, um, and the little gasket. I actually think it might have came with a spark plug. Um, like a little cheap Chinese one. So, I mean, I, I, I have really high doubts that the spark plug is not going to work. But, we'll, we'll give it a try. But, um, it's going to be about a week before I get in both of those parts. One part comes in in three days from now. The other comes in in six days from now. So, I will update you guys once the parts get in so that we can finish uh, fixing this chainsaw. And I may even show you guys um, some performance of this thing once we get it up and running and ready for use. But hopefully you guys like this video. This is actually a pretty cool chainsaw. There's That's where you put your brake oil or, yeah, oil, bar oil in there. This is the gas tank. Um, overall, I mean, this is a pretty clean looking saw. My, um, We do have another pull-on saw. It's one of the much cheaper ones. I actually may need to fix that because it's been sitting for about a year or so. It probably needs maintenance on the fuel line specifically. Maybe even the carburetor. So, I may look at that um, pretty soon too once I get this project over with. But anyways, I'll update you guys once all the parts get in. See ya.